The film genre that I will be doing is the coming of age. The films that I will be comparing are Virgin Suicides and Mustang. The topic that I will be going into depth about is to what extent do coming of age films differ in their rep representation of adolescence according to cultural context. I think in this film they differ in mise-en-scene, narrative structure, and characters. Some characteristics for the coming of age drama genre is that the protagonist is always a child or teen. It also must deal with growth of the characters. It usually pertains to the character growing up into adulthood and becoming more mature. The time period for this genre usually happens during a short period of time ranging from a day to a couple of months, usually a summer. Our first film, The Virgin Suicides, follows five girls as they traverse through high school, but then the youngest of the girls commits suicide because of depression, which causes a downhill effect to the narrative, eventually resulting in the rest of the girls committing suicide after being locked in their homes. This is Sofia Coppola's first film. Our second film, known as Mustang, is a foreign film which takes place in Turkey. This movie also follows five girls as they are put into a home where they have to prepare to become good wives. As the movie progresses, progresses the sisters slowly become married and leave the home. It was also Denise Gamiz Ergenvin first. It was also their first film. In Virgin Suicides, we could see the mise en scène when inside their home. We could see the movie paying homage to the 70s with their style of home, clothing, and the big music records we see around the house. This is extremely culturally different to the mise en scène culture of Mustang. We see that their house is almost prison like. We see them we see that their clothing is very conservative when other people are in the house. The lighting in Mustang is also different because it's also different. When outside of the home, the colors are very bright with a high saturation, while when inside the home, everything is less colorful and bright, and it brings a sense of dullness when inside the home. This is different compared to the Virgin Suicide because the coloring is very monotone unless it's one of the death scenes like when the girls all committed suicide together. Mary put her head in the oven shortly thereafter. The overall narrative structure in the film is ultra also culturally different. In the Virgin Suicides, after the death of Cecilia, we see that the girls all always are always together for the rest of the film. While in Mustang, the girls are slowly broken apart because once they get married, then they proceed to leave their house. You have to include cultural context here because the sisters are getting married at such a young age and they are being forced to leave the house. And with not having much insight into the culture, this could be one of the last times each of the sisters see each other. Wow. In the Virgin Suicides, the sisters are together because like all everyone has like for siblings they have like this togetherness that they show and that's culturally different than to the than mustang in the virgin suicides and mustang the girls are similar but fundamentally different when it comes to the culture the girls are very free as they please in the virgin suicides while in mustang they have to rebel to live the lives that they want to live for example in virgin suicide they are able to communicate with the opposite sex this adds a happy-go-lucky kind of tone to the movie, and so the girls are inevitably locked inside of their home. But in Mustang, they have, to, they have to secretly do it because they might get in trouble. This adds a lot of suspense to the movie because we are afraid the girls might get into trouble. And this also adds like a happy tone to the Virgin Suicides. Another thing different about the characters in each movie is that in the Virgin Suicides, is that the five sisters almost have no other character traits aside from being sisters. The only, character to, the only character that kind of got development was Lux, but besides her, the other sisters really play the part as one character because they have literally no traits differing them from each other. This causes the viewers to feel less sad because of the suicides of the girls because they weren't developed a lot, but you can feel sad up for the girls as a whole, just not individuals. And Mustang, each of the girls have different traits that cause us to look at each of the girls differently. There are dynamic characters compared to the static characters of the Virgin Suicides. Even though the culture is very different from ours, in Mustang, we can relate to them a lot better. Because this causes the viewer to have more of a connection to the girls in Mustang. So in conclusion, Mustang and the Virgin Suicides are different when concerning culture context because of the different narrative structure, mise-en-scene, and the overall characters of the story.
Thank you.